<laughs> Top of the table, Galacticos, welcome. We're finally where we deserve to be. And we have some very important news for this coming game. One of them is James is back. We're here with Ashley. Ashley, how do you feel about James being I, back? <laughs> I'm extremely excited about James being back. We've been waiting for his return. King James. <laughs> King James. Uh, but I think he's going to bring a lot of creativity back to the offense, a little bit which we've been lacking. And he can score from inside the box, outside the box, free kicks. We've seen him. He's his chilena, his bicycle kick. I mean, I'm excited for his return. I'm excited as well, really. Like one of the things we've been talking about is we were lacking some creativity, some explosion right in front of the box, creating those uh, opportunities. And James is definitely the guy to do that. So we're very happy to have him back. We're not sure if he's going to start or if he's going to see half an hour at the beginning of the game, at the end. What do you think? I think that it wouldn't be smart to start him off the bat. Uh, in the starting 11, but I think he should get significant minutes in the second half just to get him working back in, in game, in that game feel. And then, you know, the next upcoming matches, have him be our go-to guy. <laughs> so, James, we're very happy to have you back. Which brings us to the next point, that is, Benitez has been managing for the last two or three weeks a small roster because of a lot of players being injured, and now we have to see him manage almost a full squad again. How, how do you feel about that? Well. On one hand, I'm extremely excited to have these players back, but on the other hand, it is a bit, not troublesome, not worrying, but it, it's it's a bummer for the players who have worked their way into the starting 11. Casemiro, for example, Lucas Vaz Vazquez, uh, Jesse. We've seen these players step up and do what they needed to do in this time of adversity for Real Madrid. And maybe because we have these uh, superstars coming back, they might not get the minutes that they sort of deserve. Yeah, but it's a good thing that maybe nobody expected them to have so many minutes uh, up to this point in the season, and they have. And they have proven that they are ready for the challenge. So uh, whenever we have to rely on them again, we know that they're ready. Yeah, I mean, the good thing is that we can go to the bench and know that we're going to maintain or increase the level at the time of substitution. All right. That's a positive thing. <laughs> that is a positive thing. Uh, again, let's talk about the rival. Uh, have you seen much of Las Palmas? What's your feeling about them? My feeling about Las Palmas is, yeah, they've got a couple of uh, dangerous offensive players. They do. But... I like them very much. <laughs> You're a big fan. But uh, for me personally, I don't think that they're that big of a threat. Okay, that's a ballsy statement there. <laughs> um, I think we should especially um, watch out for Araujo. I like him a lot personally. I think he, he reminds me a little bit of a Kun Agüero. That's very explosive, uh, he has a good finishing, he's very strong. Uh, also, Jonathan Viera, very fast. Both of them very young players and, you know, we should be careful with them. And I want to mention uh, Javi Varas, the goalkeeper. He uh, was a goalkeeper for Sevilla for uh, five or six years. And uh, he has won an Europa League and also a Copa del Rey. So this is one of the keepers that can have his day at Bernabeu and just be impossible to beat and complicated lives. He could complicate our lives, but I think Navas could complicate theirs more. I that is true. It. I mean, if we compare <laughs> Navas and Javi Varas, I don't, I don't, that's not, that's not what we're no trying comparison. to do, actually. I know. That's not what we're trying to I do. I know. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, so Javi Varas, Viera, and Araujo players we have to watch out for. Yeah. So let's talk about the game itself. How do you see it, Ashley? How do you think Real Madrid should play this game? Um, I think Real Madrid should play it straight up. Uh, we saw them sitting back a little bit in the Celta game, waiting for Celta to play. And I think that was a mistake. We, when we let the other team play, we sort of see our defensive problems, in my opinion. And we've had a week to rest. So Real Madrid is, the players are gonna be rested. They're, gonna, they're not gonna be tired. They have the energy, they'll have the energy to do what they need to do, to play the 90 minutes and to go out hard and pressure, counter attack, score a lot of goals. Uh, yeah, that's what I think. That's a good thing. I think it's it's been three or four weeks since the last time we saw Real Madrid coming out for a game, having rested for a full week. Yeah. So I think personally, Real Madrid should dominate the game from the get-go and just you know kill Las Palmas. Kill Las Palmas. You know, not literally, but uh, figuratively. figuratively. <laughs> anyway, about after that, predictions. Do you have any predictions, Ashley? What do you think is going to happen? I think this is going to be a goal fast. Uh, Cristiano is going to continue to score. Maybe he'll have a hat trick. Actually, I'm going to say, Cristiano will have a hat trick. Uh, I'm going to say 5-0. 5-0 with three I'm goals from Cristiano. <laughs> I'm not going to go that bold. I'm just going to take it down a notch and I'm going to say 4-0. I don't know if Cristiano is going to score, but 4-0 is my prediction. Okay. All right. <laughs> so that was our prediction, guys. We want to know what your prediction is. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, follow us where? At Real Galacticos.
On Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, we're everywhere. We'll be in the Bernabeu for this game and we'll see you after it. <laughs>